Hello everyone, I am here today to share with you my 18 most anticipated film releases for 2018. So I am looking forward to seeing so many awesome films coming out this year and I'm, I'm just going to go through with you the 18 that I am most excited for. So obviously the release dates that I say in this video are UK release dates and they will definitely probably be different in whatever country you are watching this from. Um, so please check out your own release dates for all of the films I'm going to talk about. Um, some of them may already be out in your country um, so yeah and hopefully I've got the right release dates I did research them as far as the internet could tell me I got most of them from IMDB so I think they probably are quite accurate so um, yeah I'm just gonna get right on into it so the first one I'm going to talk about is actually already out here in the UK it came out last Friday on the 19th of January and I'm gonna be seeing it this coming weekend and I'm so excited about it and that is Coco and this is a new Disney Pixar film I love Disney Pixar films so I just automatically have to go and see them and I think this has a all Latina voice cast which I think is awesome because this is set around the Mexican celebration of the Day of the Dead. It's about a young boy who finds himself in the land of the dead when he goes in search of his great-great-grandfather who was a musician because this little boy wants to be a musician himself so I think he wants to talk to his great-great-grandfather and see if he can get any tips and advice from him and the trailers look absolutely adorable. I think this came out in the US just before Christmas so I think it's been out a while in the US so if you've seen it let me know what you thought of it um, because yeah I can't wait to see this very very soon so really looking forward to seeing a Coco. The next one comes out in the UK on the 13th of February and that is a Black Panther and this is a new Marvel superhero film um, starring Chadwick Boseman as the Black Panther. Um, it's also got Michael B. Jordan in it, it's got Lupita Nyong'o, it's got Martin Freeman in it and I'm going to be totally honest, I know nothing about Black Panther. I haven't seen the recent Avengers films which apparently he's in and I've never read any Black Panther comics so I know nothing about him but I've seen the trailer for this film and it looks amazing so I cannot wait to see this see what I think and hopefully discover a new superhero so yeah cannot wait to see that the next one that I'm really highly anticipating is The Shape of Water and this is um, Guillermo de Guillermo del Toro's new film. Um, he's directing this and I think this comes out on Valentine's Day so it'll be the 14th of February and this stars um, Sally Hawkins, Michael Shannon and Octavia Spencer and this sounds like a very very strange story about a woman who's working as a janitor at a very high security government lab and she discovers this strange humanoid amphibious creature being held captive at the lab and I think she befriends him and possibly starts a kind of romance with him. It sounds really Really, really weird and really whimsical but definitely something I am so so interested in so yeah really looking forward to The Shape of Water this year too. The next one comes out on the 16th of February and that is Lady Bird starring Saoirse Ronan and this is sounds like a very generic coming of age story about a young girl and her turbulent relationship with her mother but I have heard some amazing things about this film. I've heard that it's very very unique and that the way that it's done is just incredibly beautiful and I love films like that so yeah really really looking forward to seeing Lady Bird this year too. The next one comes out on the 23rd of March and that is A Wrinkle in Time. This is a Disney adaptation of the children's slash middle grades sci-fi novel by Madeline Lengel and I do actually have a copy of the book A Wrinkle in Time that I haven't read yet so I need to get on that before I see this film and this stars um, Oprah Winfrey, Chris Pine, Reese Witherspoon, Mindy Kaling um, amongst some other very well-known actors and all I know really about this story is it is about a young girl and her friends in search of her astrophysicist father who has been held captive on a distant planet and I think they go on a journey adventure through space to find him. It sounds so cute and I know so many people are a massive massive fan of this story so yeah cannot wait to see this one too. The next one that I'm really looking forward to comes out on the 30th of March and that is Ready Player One. So Ready Player One is one of my favourite books of all time and I am both excited and nervous to see how they do this. So this stars um, Ty Sheridan, um, Olivia Cook, and Simon Pegg as well who I absolutely adore and if you don't know the story of Ready Player One in um, summary it is set in a near future dystopian where most people spend the majority of their time in this kind of virtual reality called the Oasis and when the creator of the Oasis dies he leaves the ownership of it to whoever can find this 
hidden treasure in the center of it by um, playing games and solving puzzles and things like that but the book is absolutely amazing and I really like the trailers that they've put out of Ready Player One so far so I have high hopes for it so um, yeah really really looking forward to seeing this very soon too. The next one is another book adaptation called Love, Simon and this is the film adaptation of um, Becky Albertalli's YA contemporary Simon vs the Homo Sapiens Agenda which I read last year and really really loved it. Um, this stars Nick Robinson who is in um, Jurassic World and Everything Everything. It also has the girl who plays Hannah in 13 Reasons Why whose name escapes me but she's in this too and if you don't know the story of Love, Simon this is about a um, high school boy who is gay but he's still in the closet, he's not ready to come out to everyone yet but he has been chatting with another boy at his school who he doesn't know the real identity of, they've been chatting via email and then another boy discovers Simon's emails on this computer, finds out that he's gay and basically threatens to tell everyone one, his secrets unless Simon gets this guy a date with Simon's female best friend because this guy is in love with his best friend. I think that probably makes sense what I said but it's a really really cute story and I really really hope that they do it well and this comes out on the 6th of April in the UK so yeah really looking forward to this one. The next one is a, another um, short story adaptation actually of a story that I read quite a long time ago and that is How to Talk to Girls at Parties and this is a Neil Gaiman short story that is incredibly strange. I think it's part of his Fragile Things collection um, but it's a really strange story about a high school party where some of the guests seem a little bit strange and a little bit otherworldly and this is an adaptation of that and um, this comes out on the 11th of May I think and I've not heard too much about this um, and it may even be out in some, some other countries I'm not entirely sure but I think this is a different take on the story I think it's actually from a different perspective completely um, but yeah this short story is incredibly strange so I can't wait to see how they're going to translate that to screen so yeah really looking forward to seeing this one too. The next one is Solo, A Star Wars Story and this comes out on the 25th of May starring Amelia Clark and Warwick Davis and Woody Harrelson. This is Han Solo's pre-Star Wars story if you like. He meets Chewie in this story and it just sounds so so cool. We're going to follow a very young Han Solo on an adventure through space and yeah really really excited for this one too. The next one is another film that I'd not really heard all that much about until I saw something about it online and it comes out on the 25th of May too and that is The Breadwinner and this is a lovely looking charming animation about a young girl who is living in Afghanistan and she um, dresses as a boy in order to feed her family. It just looks like a really beautiful emotive powerful little animation produced by Angelina Jolie I think um, and yeah really really looking forward to seeing this at some point in May so yeah really looking forward to this one too. The next one doesn't actually have a full title yet but apparently it's set for a release date in the UK of the 1st of June and that is Deadpool 2 and this poster that I found online was actually part of a issue of Good Housekeeping that I think came out around Thanksgiving time in the US and as you can see there's Deadpool serving Thanksgiving dinner to the rest of the Deadpool cast. I cannot wait because I absolutely adored the first Deadpool film. I love Ryan Reynolds, I think he is absolutely genius and I can't wait for another Deadpool film so yeah really really looking forward to this one too. The next one comes out on the 7th of June and that is Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. This is of course the sequel to Jurassic World starring Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard and I think it also stars Jeff Goldblum who is reprising his role as Dr. Ian Malcolm from the original Jurassic Park which will be so, so cool. Um, so yeah, I really, really loved the first Jurassic World film so yeah, really, really looking forward to seeing this one too. 
The next one comes out on the 22nd of June and that is Ocean's 8 and all I know about this is this is a kind of revival of Ocean's 11 but with an all-female cast um, taking part in a heist at the New York Met Gala and this has some seriously badass, fierce women in it. It's got Sandra Bullock, Kate Blanchett, Anne Hathaway, Mindy Kaling, Sarah Paulson, Aquafina, Rihanna and Helena Bonham Carter and I have huge huge high expectations for this film so yeah cannot I cannot wait for it the next one is definitely one of my most highly anticipated films of the year it comes out on the 13th of July in the UK and that is The Incredibles 2 as I said before in this video I am a massive Disney Pixar fan and this is finally coming. I cannot, cannot wait. I am so, so excited. The Incredibles is definitely one of my favourite Disney Pixar films. So yeah, cannot, cannot wait for this one. The next one comes out on the 14th of September and I can't actually find an official poster for it yet so I'm just going to show you the cover of the book that it is an adaptation of and that is The Darkest Minds um, and I am hugely hugely invested in this series so it stars um amandla stenberg as ruby in it who um she played rue in the hunger games so i think she's going to be absolutely awesome as ruby and it's got an actor called what's his name harris dickinson as liam and liam is one of my favorite book boyfriends and when i looked him up because i'd never heard of this actor before he does kind of look a little bit like how i imagined liam to look so i really really hope that he can play that character well um, but if you don't know the story of the darkest minds it it is about a world where there has been a, an epidemic that has wiped out most 10 to 17 year olds, I think it is, but the survivors have developed these special superpowers and abilities and this little group of them are on the run from the government who want to capture them and run experiments on them and it is an awesome YA dystopian trilogy that I haven't finished yet because I'm scared to finish it because I don't want anything really terrible to happen to these characters but um, yeah, can't wait to see the film adaptation of the first book on the 14th of September so yeah really looking forward to this one. The next one is a film that a lot of people are kind of debating not seeing but it is a huge huge release that I will definitely be seeing and that is Fantastic Beasts Crimes of Grindelwald. This comes out on the 16th of November I am a massive Harry Potter fan and a JK Rowling fan in case you guys didn't know and I know so many people are planning to boycott this film because of the whole Johnny Depp cast as Grindelwald thing and the whole controversy with him and Amber Heard um, but I really can't wait to see Jude Law as a young Dumbledore. I think that's going to be absolutely amazing. I'm a massive, massive Eddie Redmayne fangirl. I love him as Newt. So I'm really, really looking forward to this. I do understand, obviously, where some people have problems with the whole Johnny Depp thing. But I just really want to see this film. I want to see how it's done. And yeah, really looking forward to it. The next one is another Disney sequel that I'm really, really looking forward to this year, and that is Ralph Breaks the Internet, and this is Wreck-It Ralph 2, and it comes out on the 30th of November in the UK, and this follows Ralph and Vanellope as they go on a journey into the internet to find a missing part to fix the broken Sugar Rush arcade game, which is where Vanellope comes from. I love Wreck-It Ralph, so yeah, really, really here for this film and cannot, cannot wait to see it. And the last film that I am most anticipating for 2018 comes out on the 21st of December, so we've got ages and ages to wait for it, but that is Aquaman, starring the gloriously beautiful Jason Momoa. I mean, can we please just take a second to look at him there? I mean, do I need to say any more about why I'm looking forward to this film? I don't think I do, and I cannot, cannot wait to see it, so yeah, really, really looking forward to seeing Aquaman at the end of this year. And that is it for my 18 most anticipated film releases of 2018. What are some films that are coming out this year that you're looking forward to? Please let me know. I will leave all of my social media in the description down below. I hope you're having an awesome day, and I'll see you very soon for another video. Bye-bye.